Watch you guys got another video here for you. How to check whether your uh, VPN is working and secure. That's what we're going to take a look at in this video. Now, a lot of VPN companies promise uh, privacy and security and will actually leak your data all over the internet. And I'm going to show you a way you can actually test your VPN service to see whether it's actually leaking data. Now, always do your research when purchasing a VPN. These are the three biggest VPN companies out there which is Express, uh, NordVPN, and IP Vanish. They get heavily promoted all over YouTube and all over the internet. So I'm going to quickly log on to a VPN service, and I'll show you exactly what to look for when you're looking to see whether any sort of VPN company is leaking your information. So in your browser, type in there ipleak.net, uh, and this will give you the information here. So it's broken down into sections here. We can see IP address, which it says no forward IP address detected and we've got IPv6 uh, test not reachable, and there's an error. And that's good. That means uh, we're, we're only broadcasting literally our uh, VPN uh, IP address here. And you can see it says it's in Israel, which obviously I'm not in Israel. And what you're looking for here, the fallback here, you can see it's got timeout here as well. Next up, we're looking at your IP addresses, web RTC detection. If you get any information listed here, then you're... VPN is leaking information and you don't want that. If you see exactly like you're seeing here, you'll see I'm not leaking any information here and that's really important. So make sure you don't see any information here. If you do, then your VPN is leaking your information. So make sure that is uh, not leaking anything there. Also, you can click on this link and it will tell you all the information about uh, WebRTC and stuff like that. You can read all about that at your own leisure. Again, DNS addresses. You can see it's got Israel here, and you can see it's not showing any uh, information about my system, my uh, ISP. And also you can see, again, IP details, and it'll also list uh, your geolocation, which it says Israel, and nothing to do with where I'm located right now in the UK. So that's good information there, uh, what you want to be broadcasting and not your original location where you're at. So they're the things you want to look out for when you're looking for any sort of leaks in your VPN service. Now there is some other websites you can use like DNS leak, which will test for leaks on your DNS. That is normally a common area where uh, you get leaks. And sometimes uh, this can show up information of your ISP. And if that is the case, then you are using the wrong VPN. Now remember a VPN doesn't make you 100% anonymous online, and it doesn't give you complete anonymity when you're using uh, your computer online by using your VPN. That's another big misconception a lot of people sort of uh, think. But it's really used for privacy and for security, really. And that's basically what you use a VPN for. Now, things to look for when buying a VPN are probably speed, how fast the internet is when you're using a VPN, breaking geo restrictions, geolocation restrictions, also safety and security. If you want to download stuff that you're not allowed to download in your country, probably peer-to-peer -peer functionality like torrenting and stuff like that. Uh, privacy, um, no data that is kept by the VPN company themselves, and probably how many computers you can connect to that VPN account. Some of them have limitations. And that's probably uh, about it, really. There's some other bits and pieces like encryptions and stuff like that that you can look into. But you can check the websites before you buy uh, your VPN, go to their website and you should see all of their terms of service and exactly what you get for your money. Have a good long read through all of that information. I know we like to skip over that sort of information normally, but in this case, you do really want to take the time to see what you can do and what you can't do with your VPN before you buy it. And some companies like ExpressVPN will literally put all the information at the bottom of their page and you can go down here and you can click on their privacy policy. They've got a separate article here which will actually break it down and show you exactly what they keep and what they don't keep when it comes to your browsing information. So anyway, with that said, I hope this information helps you out and helps you decide on choosing the right VPN for your privacy and your security concerns. Uh, so anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. So I hope this video has been some sort of use for you and give you some sort of useful information, how you can check to see whether your VPN is actually leaking any sort of information about what you're doing online. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. 
Big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now.